All right, so newly uncovered comments Attorney General William Barr made back in 1998 in an interview then are showing a much different tone than what we've seen from him in the past few weeks. This comes in the wake of scrutiny over how he handled the release of the Mueller report, holding that press conference the way he did before Congress even got their hands on it, Jim. Yeah, sound a little different back in 1988 in the interview. A completely different tone from Barr. Then Barr says that he was, quote, disturbed that then Attorney General Janet Reno did not defend the independent counsel, Ken Starr, from what he called hatchet jobs during the Whitewater investigation. CNN K-File senior editor Andrew Kaczynski joins us now with, with more details. So, Andrew, of course, uh, different from his position and approach to Mueller's investigation. Yeah, uh, it's, it's quite a different tone uh, that we've seen than sort of this tepid defense that we have of Mueller. Now, this came in a 1998 interview with Investors Business Daily, uh, where he said the White House was attacking Starr basically with spin control, hatchet job, and uh, ad hominem attacks. Now, he was very disturbed that Janet Reno uh, was not defending Starr. Um, and what's so interesting about the way in which these uh, comments paint Barr is that in March of that year, uh, earlier, he had sent this letter um, where he said that he thought public comments uh, from the Clinton White House were meant to have the improper purpose of influencing and impeding an ongoing criminal investigation and possibly intimidating possible jurors. Yeah, different. Very different. Very different. Very different tone. <clears throat> I'd love to talk about how you get so good at digging into all of this stuff, but I digress. We don't have time for that, but you do. And the president, switching gears here, his pick for Federal Reserve Board, Stephen Moore, is now lashing out saying that critics are pulling a Kavanaugh against him since he got nominated for this. He's referencing personal attacks against, of course, sitting Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh during his confirmation hearing. Let's just take a moment to listen to what Stephen Moore is saying. I was so honored when I got the call from uh, from uh, Donald Trump, and uh, you know it's been. But you know all it's been since then has been one personal assault after another, and a kind of character assassination having nothing to do with economics. But you know my divorce ten years ago, or something I wrote twenty five years ago. They have six full time investigative reporters looking into me at the Washington Post and New York Times and uh, CNN. And you know, Scott, I think it's I kind of wear it as a badge of honor that they're so afraid of me. You know, they're pulling a Kavanaugh against me. Uh, this follows some of your own reporting. Give us the mm -hmm. background here. Yeah, look, I don't even know what pulling a Kavanaugh means. Um, look, when you're a nominee or a pick for a public uh, administration, your record is going to get scrutinized. Things that you say, things that you did, those are going to be reported on. Uh, I know this morning he was referring to this as a smear campaign, you know, covering comments that he made about women, covering things that he said, you know, in columns. That That is not a smear campaign. That's that is uh, reporting on his record. Uh, so it's a, little, it's a little odd that he finds just commenting things that he's done and said to be uh, such a problem for him. It's, it's reporting. You're doing yeah, your job. It's reporting.